Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'll just wait for the train to pass. Okay, so my name is... Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Tally and welcome to another book haul. So today I'm going to be sharing the books that I got from thrift books. I want to save up some money. It's good to save money and um, check those thrift bookshops online and since I can't leave my house because I'm still in quarantine, I've been in quarantine for maybe since March and um, I'm still scared to get out of my house and actually go to the libraries and I don't think any thrift shops and libraries are open at the moment right now so I'm just gonna stay be on the safe side and not leave my house if you guys are interested in the books that I purchased go ahead and keep watching so the first one that I'm going to share with you guys that I got was The Help the Help by Katherine Stockett and this one I absolutely love the movie I think it's one of my favorite movies shit. but I've never read the book before and basically if you have never heard of The Help it is about Abilene Clark she's a black maid in the year 1962 in Jackson Mississippi and she is raising her 17th white child she's always taken orders quietly but lately it leaves her with a bitterness she can no longer bite back her friend Minnie Jackson has never held her tongue or held on to a job for very long but now she's working for a newcomer with secrets that leave her speechless and why Skeeter Fallon has just returned from college with ambition and a degree, but to her mother's lament, no husband. Normally, Skeeter would find solace in Constantine, the beloved maid who raised her, but Constantine has inexplicably disappeared. I'm so excited to read the book because they were just so love. There were such lovely characters in the movie, and I'm pretty sure that I am gonna fall in love with them. When reading the book. The help was $4.69. I think this one is around like $11 on Amazon so I saved pretty much a lot of money. Okay the next one that I got was Water for Elephants. This is another movie that I have seen first before reading the book and this one is by Sarah Grun and um, I don't think I remember much about the movie so that's why I decided to read the book. Water for Elephants was only $4.69 as well, the same price of the help. So it is about Jacob, who recent he is an orphan and he jumps into a passing train, enters a world of freaks, drifters, and the second rate circus. And the circus is struggling to survive during the Great Depression, and they make one night stands in towns after endless nights. And then he is put in charge of the circus of the circus menagerie. He meets Marlena. She is the star of the equestrian equestrian act. I think that's how you pronounce it. And she is married to August. And August is the animal trainer. And he also meets Rosie, who is the elephant who seems untrainable, but then he finds a way to train this elephant. Um, it's just a beautiful story, and I absolutely love the movie. This one I've been seeing the series everywhere, and I got Cinder, and this is. This was $4.79 and it is by Marissa, Marissa Mayer. My, Mayer? Meyer? Meyer? Sisters with Stephanie Meyer for some. Who knows? This one is a fantasy and it is part of the Lunar Chronicles. And the second book is Scarlet, the third book is Crest. It's just basically about a deadly plague that that ravages the population and, and the main character, Cinder, who is 16 years old, is a gifted mechanic and class citizen with a mysterious past and then she meets the handsome, a handsome prince. She finds herself in a intergalactic, intergalactic struggle and a forbidden attraction. She has to uncover her secrets from her past in order for her to protect the, the world's future. Um, so this one sounds pretty interesting. And um, I've been waiting to, I've been wanting to read it, but I'm probably not going to read it in such a long time because I have a bunch of books on my TBR, and I have like around a hundred books for me to finish before the end, before the end of the year. Okay, next one that I got was Revival by Stephen King. I've never ever heard of Revival actually. Um, let me see. This one was 469 
$4.69. It's a horror fiction thriller by Stephen King. It's a revival. It takes place in New England in the early 60s. I have no idea what this is about. I just picked it up because it was by Stephen King. I don't see, I don't feel like it's that interesting. The synopsis is that interesting, but we'll see when I start reading it. Purchased was Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Rest in peace to this amazing author. He just passed away maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And this book was $6.19 and has always been on my TBR because it takes place in Barcelona. And it's about Daniel who mourns the loss of his mother. Well, he finds solace in a mysterious book that he finds and it is called Shadow of the Wind. He sets out to find the author's other works and he discovers that someone has been systematically destroying every book that this author has written. And he discovers that he may have the last copy that this author wrote. It opens a door into what Barcelona starts darkest secrets and an epic story of murder of madness and doomed love so the synopsis is amazing it's just like a synopsis that dives you right into the book and i'm so excited to read it so um yeah i also got this one the next book that i got i think i've read it maybe like three times already but it is the one and only to kill a mockingbird by harper lee and I think I read it in high school, I read it again in, I read it again in college, and I finally own it. Um, this one was only $3.99. Growing up, I, I absolutely loved To Kill a Mockingbird. Honestly, I cannot wait to reread it for the fourth time. Next one that I got, I'm super duper excited because it's one of my favorite authors, and he is... Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This one is called 100 Years of Solitude. I read this one already and I didn't own it. I have no idea why. Gabriel Garcia Marquez is, is Colombian, so he is a Latin writer. He was, I'm sorry. I think this is one of his most popular books. It is fiction, classic, magical realism, and literature. It tells the story of the Buendia family chronicles the irreconcilable conflict between the desire of, for solitude and the need for love. My dad is actually reading this book as well and he asked me if I read it and I went crazy when he told me that he was reading the book because Gabriel Garcia Marquez is one of my favorite um, Latin authors, authors and um, this one has been one of my favorite books from him and I wanted to own it and I can't wait to read it all over again. This one was... Um, 619. The next one that I got was Cell by Stephen King. I have heard about this one. This one was four dollars and nineteen cents. On October 1st, God is in his heaven. The stock market stands at 10,140. Most of the planes are on time, and graphic artist Clayton is visiting Boston, having just landed a deal that might finally enable him to make art instead of teaching it, teaching it. But all those good feelings about the future change in a hurry thanks to a devastating phenomenon that will come to be known as the Pulse. I'm pretty sure it's going to be about cell phones because we can see on the front cover that there's a broken cell phone with blood and obviously it's a horror story. So it sounds pretty interesting. I think it's already a movie. Another book that I purchased was, was The Handmaid's Tale and the other one that I purchased was The Catcher in the Rye. And I purchased Illinois Room Park. Illinois Room Park has a lot of racist remarks. I don't accept that and I'm probably not going to read it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for 800 subscribers. That's freaking insane. That's freaking crazy. Like, I barely had 400, maybe 600 subscribers last month and I am shocked. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoy this, enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys have read any of the books that I purchased. It'll be my last book haul in a long time because I'm trying to save money. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!